Good morning world, it's November 16th and I've been up for about an hour something. Well, it's officially lockdown day 10. Why did I make a video, any videos last week? Well, I did and I deleted them because I don't know, lockdown gets me depressed and a lot of things have changed. Are you ready? Well, let's see. Yesterday, remember my reduced smoking? I've been on it for God knows how many days. And guess what? I'm doing a pretty good job, except yesterday when I went all the way up to 18. I was keeping my smoking between 13 and 15. Yesterday, I went up to 18. Guess what? I'm not beating myself up. Today, well, it's lockdown number 10. George left for Athens. He's taking his father for radiation because he has cancer. Grandpa doesn't know. He knows he has some kind of weird thing, probably a little cancer, that he's going for radiology, and George can be missing for the whole, whole week. Maybe month too, but we don't know. School is online. My son is doing online. My daughter's doing online. And I have to wake up early. And guess what? I'm also a vegetarian for 21 days, if I'm not mistaken. And the TV is getting my nerve. Church left open when he left about half an hour ago. Let me close it. Yep, that's much better. I can hear my brain. Got my pajamas. All nice. My hair is up, and I don't know why, because I like to sleep with my hair up. And, yeah, since we're at it, we'll see what I do in a day. Well, I've been up for an hour and a half having my coffee. I'm put my hair down. Give my hair a massage. What do you guys do to keep busy during a lockdown? We're stuck here. This small village, no customers to stir, serve for takeaway or delivery. Today is Monday. Remember, we don't work today. So it's day number 10 of lockdown. I'm not working, but I told a customer because she has kids, three kids, four kids. She has four kids. That if she needs any food during lunch hours, just call me on my cell phone. I'll be more than happy to make it to you. We have to feed the dogs, do everything. But we're going to do it together. Now we're just going to make another coffee. I downloaded a game about a half an hour ago. And I was playing for it just for the time to pass. So let me make my second coffee and have it. And we're going to also see what I eat as a vegetarian. And I went into these groups for vegan and they're all like, no, no, you should cut everything out. But that's going to be another video. Me ranting about them being so mean. Let's see what the day holds. Because with George gone, I'm going to go nuts. I want to kill him. But we've been together 30 years, so we don't know how to work without each other getting on each other's nerves. If I'm making any sense. Let's see what I'm going to do today and what I'm going to eat today. Coffee number two, like I said, it's going to be with one teaspoon of coffee, one teaspoon of milk made, and three little tabs of sugar twin. Let me just get them to show you. I'm glad I'm in the store so I can show you. Maybe gems. <laughs> okay, this is called Gold Plate. It costs $1.50 or $1.60, and it's... Powder, you just put it in your milk and it makes it taste like milk. It's like creamer or what was it called in Canada or in the US? Milkmaid. I got these because I've also I gained some weight. And I don't want to gain any more weight. So I got these from Lidl. They're sweetener tabs. So I had three because I like my coffee sweet. A store brand coffee. And it only cost me, from what I saw the receipt before I shot at the garbage by mistake, it only cost me for to get this humongous. And I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of coffee. So if I go out, a coffee costs two. Here you go. With two coffees, I bought the coffee. A dollar sixty, and I think this cost two fifty or two. But it has a lot, a lot of tabs inside. And I'm not even gonna try to see how many. Let's continue with it because it's only 7.30. Only. And the, the only thing I forgot is the water. Remember, I don't drink tap water. 
our machine is doing good and it also has hot water cold water and that's amazing so you just put everything you need in the cup press the button hot water and we also got we rented this we didn't buy it because I don't know if it's gonna work and I'm not sure yet it's an ice cube maker we rented this for six euros a month because we didn't know the lockdown was coming so fast and I needed it but I will need it during the summer see everything is on track <coughs> and the other thing I want to do today is see what my expenses has been for the lockdown for the 10 days see just be on track because I've been paying bills paying this paying that putting money aside so I do have to know exactly where I am let me make my coffee and calculate all my days these 10 days while having my coffee I'm looking at the dishes oh god do I have a lot of dishes to do again clean the kitchen from yesterday but having my coffee and thinking about the dogs, sorry, doggies, you're going to be eating later. I'm going to make them a nice macaroni soup. Add some dog food so they can have something nice and warm to have for breakfast. And no, I'm not going to feed them early, early in the morning. They're going to have to wait because the grass is all wet. And we're not doing dishes. See, this is the dishes downstairs. There's more behind me. And there's about the same amount of dishes upstairs. I've gone right... I've got really behind on my dishes and I've been washing, washing all day yesterday. Ay, ay, ay. It's 8.03. I cooked the dog's food because it was boiling hot. I added ice cubes, added some dog food, stirred it up, and they're having a nice warm but not boiling hot. Thank God for the ice cube machine. Now I'm just going to have the rest of my coffee and a cigarette. And then I have to go upstairs and start waking everybody up for school. Well, the oldest should be awake. But while the dog food was boiling, I did a little bit of dishes, and we have a lot to do more. So let me have my cigarette, call my mom, make sure she's okay while having coffee, then going upstairs. 8.15, worst case, we're going to be upstairs waking up Valentine for school on her computer, on my computer. Okay, it's 9.30. Just came down to make my third coffee, washed all the dishes upstairs, folded a basket, and we're not talking a basket, a humongous basket of clothes that I've forgotten in the dryer. Put all of George's work clothes to be washed because he's not going to be here. And having my third coffee and fourth cigarette, and I've been up since 6 o'clock. But I did wash all the dishes. I did make my bed. So you see, I've been keeping busy, and I also cooked macaroni for lunch. It's boiled, it's good, it's ready, the sauce is ready. Found some old macaroni in the fridge. It's been a week, so that's gonna go to the dogs in the afternoon. No, it hasn't been a week, it's been like three, four days. I would eat it, but then we'll have to boil macaroni for the dogs, so why not? Took zucchini out so we can make zucchini meatballs. That makes sense for tomorrow. I'm just gonna have a coffee, a smoke, call my mom before she calls me, and then go wash all the dishes here again. And there's a lot to do, there's a lot to do. My day is never simple. But I'll be keeping you in touch like every one, two, three hours, except if I fall asleep. Ouch, it's 10.30. And I've been organizing and cleaning and half the fridge well one third I thought I finished all the dishes but when cleaning there's more dishes and more dishes and I did call my mom because like I said then she called me back and I had my fifth cigarette and then I called George and they're still a lot in Athens, and they've been traveling for three hours. The poor guy, I could hear in his voice, he hung up on me, like, 
We actually from hey, how you doing? Have you guys arrived at Athens? No, not yet. Why? Uh, that was his answer before he closed the phone. I can actually hear in his voice that he's going nuts. So that's till now. I'm keeping myself busy so I don't go nuts during the lockdown number 10, day number 10. Now this will become a series for me to keep busy and not go nuts alone and for you guys to have something to laugh about or figure out what you're going to do if you're, if the government decides to lock you down. So the clothes, his clothes are in the washer, my bed is made. See, I'm keeping, I'm doing it. So let's continue. <laughs> okay, it's 11.40. I don't know how I do it. It's the third or fourth time I've washed dishes. And I packed it up again. Okay, I know. See, jars. So I actually did the whole refrigerator. Went through, except over there and over here. That's gonna do tomorrow. Cooked a humongous batch for two days, waiting for to cool for the dogs. Found some food and some cheese. Cleaned out the refrigerators. Yeah, this is like... Found a piece of toast. So it's like one toast all by itself, I'll have it. Organized everything, even fixed the plant that I had taken out all the dirt and left the bare roots yesterday. But it's a... 20 minutes before 12. And there's more dishes. But at least I know I'll have a great kitchen for all my lockdown. I even did this refrigerator too. Everything is nice and nicely put in the refrigerator and I know exactly what I have. Whoopsies! I did it. But I also found this jam. From the beginning of summer that I forgot about it. It is amazing. It's sour cherry. So I'm having a toast with some margarine and sour cherry on top. But I've been keeping really busy, extremely busy. Well, it's a quarter to one. Just had my lunch, but I put too much Parmesan cheese. And it's time to actually lie down with glasses and watch YouTube videos and probably take a nap. Probably. It's 2.45 and I've decided to get up, make a coffee, see some sun outside, talk to my plants. So I'm having a handful of peanuts. They're salted. Yeah, and I'm going to make a coffee so I can get my brain to start working after two, two hours of being in bed. But I didn't sleep because my husband and everybody was calling. Okay, my might be 10, but I'm having another handful of peanuts. Really nice roasted salty peanuts. I would prefer it didn't have salt, but Yeah, I'm feeling kind of not hungry Just craving them So remember today is Monday no store day and I've spent like more than six hours in the store Let me enjoy my peanuts Okay, it's 3 30. I just finished finished and there's a fight sitting on me and they're biting. Well, I just finished all the dishes in the store. Almost. There's two cups now left, which I'm not going to do them. There's no way I'm going to wash more. And there's the bowl from the dog food. Not the one that I made because I made a lot. I made for three days at least or two and a half. So George feeds the dogs at five o'clock, but my schedule doesn't go with the dog's schedule. So I fed them just now. One full thing of, well, the measuring that I have like a bowl. From ice cream, which is being reused and reused and reused, washed, that's in the sink. And one-fourth of a bowl of dog food, mixed, perfectly good, and they're going nuts eating it. Now I have to go upstairs and finish the upstairs lunch dishes. Eh, put away the, the, uh, the dishes, put away the food, clean the kitchen. My son just left to go play soccer. And that's the one that had hurt its back last week. You were running to the doctors. And you guys didn't know about that. Take the laundry. There's a second. The third load of the day. Take it up, fold them. Put your clothes away. Put my clothes away. 
everything's on the bed and continue and see what else they hold because even I that's why I'm always eating peanuts even the two handfuls I think I had like another handful in the back while just passing right beside my kitchen I had them like right there open so I can find them and just grab as needed and I know today hasn't been a great day not a lot of vegetables not a lot of anything but I've been running around I even repotted my plant so it doesn't die because I had a bare root. I'm doing so many things in one day. I think I should say George with his father to Athens more often. My day is more productive. So let's see what the rest of the day holds. Until the 9 o'clock lockdown. They were not allowed to leave the house. For no reason except pharmacy, hospital, doctor, or go help an elderly person, like a family member. There's no other reason to get out of the house. And you get a 300 euro, or that's around $400 US or Canadian ticket. Lockdown number 10, day number 10. I'm going nuts. Hey, it's 4.30. The sun is starting to set. Remember, we only have till nine to be outside. So I came down. To make another coffee. I was being lazy, but I did wash the dishes. I did fold all of George's clothes. Now I have all the clothes on my bed to be put away. But I washed the dishes at last. Both sinks almost done. And why am I always coming downstairs? Because I'm always leaving my cigarettes downstairs. If I had them upstairs with me, I smoked them off. But I'm always forgetting something. I forgot the zucchini upstairs. Preparing today, tomorrow's lunch from now, even if we have like nobody ate, just me and Val, Valentine had the macaroni, my son didn't, and I boiled the whole bag. So I have like four lunches, or five, or six days of food. But anyways, I have to go get the zucchini. And it's officially nine o'clock, and we're going to sleep because we're not allowed to go out after nine o'clock. So we went fishing. We had dinner, macaroni with Greek cheese. She's eating. That's it. That's the end of the day. And yeah, I didn't post about what we had, but I did have some chocolate with nuts and the macaroni, two plates with Greek cheese. And most of our food is ready for tomorrow. It just needs cooking. And it's nighttime. It's nine o'clock and five minutes. You're an outlaw. You're supposed to be in at nine o'clock. The government said. Nobody speaks in Greek. So as you saw, my diet is good. My spoken well, it's kind of. But we're having fun being alone, just the two girls. Daddy call. He's really tired and exhausted in Athens. But what can we do? Till tomorrow. See you. Bye. Stay safe. Exactly. Stay safe.